Hey guys, Todd here, Product Manager for SOLIDWORKS at Hawk Ridge Systems. Let's talk today about a really nice practical and powerful use case scenario for the Flex feature. Haven't heard of the Flex feature? Yeah, you're not alone. Uh, most people aren't aware of it, even though it's been around since SOLIDWORKS 2005. A lot of it stems from maybe just not quite understanding what it's used for and what it can do. So we're going to clear that up here with a very good, as I said, industry specific practical use case here. So any of you plastic parts designers, especially uh, packaging, clamshell design, or blister pack, those kind of things, or any kind of plastic part with a living hinge. What you're looking at here is a small case that came with a pair of earbuds that I bought. And I thought I looked at it and thought this is a perfect uh, example of where I would use the flex feature. Because I need to model the part in its molded state like this. But I also need to show my clients uh, how what it's going to look like and how it's going to function when the lid is closed. And I need to make sure I drew it correctly and that everything lines up and it's going to actually snap closed like I hope it will. So with that in mind, let's just get up to speed real quick on how I got to this point, just so you can kind of see my workflow here. Okay, because it's kind of a nice aesthetic shape, definitely want to model it all as one kind of master form, and then we'll split up the, the lid and the body later. Uh, and that's what we'll do. We'll just find a plane and we'll split it. So now the lid is a separate body from the, uh, the case. And now that lets me use these great... Um, plastics features like the lip and groove function, the snap hooks, and all of these uh, will update and are, are related to each uh, to both bodies. So it's a great way to design like that. Now, however, I need to get that lid rotated 180 degrees so that it's open and so that they share the same parting line. And what I, what I do that again, because I have a separate body here, I can use the move copy body and just rotate it around this axis that I created there. So rotated it 180 degrees around there. And now we're two separate bodies, so I just need to put in whatever shape would be the living hinge there. And now they're back to one continuous body. And now we are ready to close the lid because I, again, I need to do just a function check or I, maybe I need to do a photo rendering of what it looks like open and closed. Uh, and that's hard to do with the, with normal SOLIDWORKS features. So the flex feature does a great job here. Uh, let's go right ahead and jump in. I created a coordinate system, and I'm going to show you why in a second. So we're just going to turn that on. And we're going to jump right into the flex feature. Okay, so this can do four things to quickly review. It can bend an object, solid body. It can twist around an axis. It can taper an object. You know, from one end to another, it can stretch the length of an object, so it can do, do some pretty wild things. It's pretty powerful stuff. You may get some uh, results you're not expecting, so you want to definitely control it as much as you can. Okay, so we just pick the body that we want deformed. In this case, there's only one now since they're uh, both back together. And rather than talking about all these controls here, let's first of all get this triad set. You can see there's a bend axis and there are these trim planes. Okay, so first of all, we can move that triad around. Uh, however, again, I like to have a hard reference feature like a coordinate system to align it to. Okay, so now you can see that the bend axis is going right where I need it. Okay, that's where I want the actual bend to happen to close the lid. And now these trim planes, those, the area in between those trim planes are the area that's going to be affected by this bend. So I obviously, I don't want to bend the lid and the case. I really only want to bend, let's go to a top view here. I only want to bend the hinge area. The rest of this should stay rigid. Okay, so to do that, you can just drag these planes around if you want. However, I know they need to go right to two inches either side. Okay, so now the area is much smaller in between those planes. And it's only it only encompasses this living hinge or plastic area. Okay, so now I have it set up the way I want. I've got the area that's going to be affected. I've got my bend axis set up. And now I just put in the angle. So let's just put in 90 degrees and see what it looks like. Oh, okay, it's going the wrong way. So if you see that, no problem. It just means you need a minus sign in front of it. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go minus 180. There we go. Looks good. Again, it's a very complex feature 
what it's doing in that area that it's deforming. So it may take a minute here to rebuild. But again, uh, I can here to tell you that there is no other feature that's going to do this faster than this. And now what it'll give me is what the closed shape of my model will look like. Okay, you can see where it bent that flat piece of plastic. Now keep in mind there, there is no actual real physical deformation happening. If you want to know what the true shape or where the crease is going to be, that might not, this is not what that's for. This is just to allow you to fold the part together in, in, in order to be able to model it as molded and to show the lid closed too. But it's a very easy feature to use, very powerful. You just enter some numbers and give it some directions and there you have it. And so now we can go in and check, see, make sure all our, our uh, hinges line up and our snap hooks and our grooves, everything looks good. So look into that, it's the flex feature. It's been around forever. It's a little bit buried. It's not on your toolbar by default, but I would just search it up here and good luck with it.